Welcome to DIYAuthority.com. As you can see in the backyard here, I'm building a detached garage. Uh, I want to have a one foot overhang on all sides of this garage. And today I'm going to show you how to build that one foot overhang on the gable end truss. To do that on the gable ends, I need to attach something to the end truss. Many times end trusses, which is what you see here, have these vertical braces and are used at both ends of the building are built either an inch and a half or three and a half inches shorter than the common trusses the trusses that are in the middle of the building this is done so you can build a cantilever system that will attach to the second truss in and, the, and overhang the end truss my trusses all have the same dimensions the end trusses and the common trusses are all the same so this isn't an option for me so i'm going to build what's called a ladder system shown here I stacked a 2x4 and a 2x6 as you can see here and I cut an angle on one end of them. This angle will match the peak of my gable end truss. Uh, then I marked every 15 inches where I wanted a brace to be. These 2x4 braces are 15 inches on center as you can see here. Now I'm going to prop up both ends of the 2x4 with a brace then space my other braces 15 inches on center. And then I'm gonna nail them. So I prop one end up, run to the other side, prop the other end up. And then I'm gonna space them every 15 inches on center. Then I nailed it. The important thing to remember here is that the 2x6 and the 2x4 need to be flush on the roof side, which is the left side of this graphic right here. That's where your roof sheathing is going to connect to, so that has to be flush down the left side here. You can see that I've got it flush. I'm going to repeat this whole process for the other side, so now I have two gable and ladder systems. After the ladder system is nailed together, I line it up on the end truss. Make sure that the 2x4 of the ladder system sits directly on top of the 2x4 of the end truss. If you're careful, your angle should line up exactly. You can pull that together and nail it, and then you nail the two ladders to the end truss. And this is your final assembled piece. Once this is done, I'm going to put it up on top of the barn. I've got some braces up there that will hold it in place, and then I'm going to nail this truss in place. Then I'm going to continue with my common trusses in the middle, and I'm going to do this again at the back end. And that's how you build a one foot overhang on an end truss using a ladder system. For more projects, go to DIYAuthority.com.